Good morning, guys. This is Friday morning when I'm out doing this one. It's 41 degrees outside here at our house, down here in the valley. Thought I'd walk up this way today. Told Marcia I might go to the top of the hill. Everything goes right. We'll see <laughs> how it comes out. <clears throat> I went down down here at the bottom where there's a hand dug well that the people that had this home back in the day dug. It's that little structure right down there. It's got rock cemented around it. Oh, it's probably 15 or 20 feet deep. And there's, I looked in it yesterday, there was uh, probably about three feet of water in the bottom of it. The top is falling in on it, so I need to pull them boards out and, and uh, build a better top for it. <clears throat> I've not walked up the driveway for a while. I get out and go into the timber. That's the, that's what draws me is the woods. But I've also got to do this occasionally. So I think, where am I up at? There she is. You going with me? All right. <laughs> we have way up here a red-tailed hawk. I don't know if you all can see it. Fluttering in. Their eyesight is remarkable. How God has gave them the, the ability to see that far out and he'll flutter up there when he sees something down on the ground and they can make a dive incredibly fast just really neat to see to watch but Marsha's doing a little better today She's up in there uh, having coffee. And so I thought I'd come out and walk the hill this morning while she was sitting there enjoying some coffee and listening to, I think, Mortal Fury. I mean, uh, DC time. Mortal Fury uh, boys, what we, we call them, Dean and Chris. So she was listening to them when I left, having coffee. Isn't that pretty through there? I know in the summer, in the springtime, the <clears throat> watching the red bud and the dogwood trees bloom are the first flowers we see in the in the timber in the springtime. So I look forward to spring. I like the new the newness of it. Marsha on the other hand enjoys the fall more than I do. It's a different the the damp is different. In the spring it's a lot colder. Uh The moisture seems to be. I thought I heard something over there. I guess not. <laughs> Try this hillside. 
makes a pretty good walk coming up through here. Sometimes I can make it seem like I'm going to do pretty good today. We had, uh, top of this hill, we had two game cameras. And when y'all seen the deer that comes across this hillside up here. And the coyotes. They just go all through this uh, land over here so anyway we managed to catch them on those two game cameras a bunch of them this hill seems to be getting longer <laughs> the more I climb it today That makes good a good climb. Looks like I'm gonna stop right here for a minute. I'm right at the halfway point. Maybe a little more than that. But I think Angel needs a break. She's gonna get out of breath walking up this hill, trying to keep up with me. <laughs> Alright, so I've got today. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 7. And uh, <clears throat> I dig these references out of Paul's writings. There was a time when I was wanting to uh, put all these writings in a book. And each, each book would have, uh, like the book of Ephesians, I, which I've already went through it all, but take Ephesians and the references to each one of the verses and put that in a book form and the same with Colossians and Philippians which I've already done those but it'd be neat to have them so I could just pick it up and, and <clears throat> I've got it in tablets but have a book that contain them all wouldn't that be neat all the different references and out of Paul's writings but anyway I've <laughs> I've got them all in tablet form. So, all right, <clears throat> here's what we got in First uh, Thessalonians four and verse seven, and these references I dug out of Paul's writings. So, y'all look around here where I'm at, and we'll read this out. For God calls us not for uncleanliness, but in holiness. Among whom are you also the called of Jesus Christ to all who are in Rome beloved by God called saints grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ now we are aware that God is working together working all together for the good of those who are loving God who are called according to the purpose that whom he foreknew he designates beforehand also to be conformed to the image of his son for him to be firstborn among many brethren. Now whom he designates beforehand, these he calls also. And whom he calls, these he justifies also. And whom he justifies, these he glorifies also. To the ecclesia of God which is in Corneth, hallowed in Christ Jesus, called saints, together with all in every place who are invoking the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, both theirs and ours, according as he chooses us in him before the disruption of the world, we to be holy and flawless in his sight, in love designating us <clears throat> beforehand for the place of a son for him through Christ Jesus, in accord with the delight of his will. For in grace, through faith, are you saved. And this is not out of you, it is God's approach present. Not of works, lest anyone should be boasting. For his achievements are we, being created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God makes ready beforehand that we should be walking in them. 
I am entreating you then, I, the prisoner in the Lord, to walk worthily of the calling with which you were called, with all humility and meekness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit with the tie of peace, one body and one spirit, according as you were called also with one expectation of your calling, one Lord and one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Now, we ought to be thanking God always concerning you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, seeing that God prefers you from the beginning for salvation and holiness in the spirit and faith and truth into which he also calls us through our evangel for the procuring of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, for which cause I am reminding you to be rekindling the gracious gifts of God which is in you through the imposition of my hands for God gives us not a spirit of timidity, but of power and of love. Power and of love. I lost my place. <laughs> I looked up. Let's see. For God gives us not a spirit of timidity, but of power and of love and of sanity. You may not be ashamed then of the testimony of our Lord, nor yet of me, his prisoner, but suffer evil with the evangel in accord with the power of God who saves us and calls us with a holy calling, not in accord with our acts, but in accord with his purpose and the grace which is given to us in Christ Jesus before times eonian. Yet now is being manifested through the advent of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus, I'm sorry, who indeed abolishes death, yet illuminates life and incorruption. Now if you are led by Spirit, you are, are not still under law. Now apparent are the works of the flesh, which are adultery and prostitution and uncleanness, the wantonness, idolatry and enchantment, enmities, strife and jealousies and furies, factions, dissensions, sects, envies and murders, drunkennesses, revelries, and, and the likes of these, which I am predicting to you according as I predicted also, that those committing such things shall not be enjoying the allotment of the kingdom of God. For our entreaty is not out of deception, nor yet out of uncleanliness, nor yet with guile, but according as we have been tested by God to be entrusted with the evangel, thus are we speaking, not as pleasing men, but God who is testing our hearts. Wow. That's the references to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 7. And I won't put anything to scripture. I won't add to that. I'll put that rascal up right there. All right. I think Angel and I need to continue our little walk up the hill. <clears throat> See what we can find. I think she got her breath. She caught got caught up on her breathing. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a beautiful day. We had rain last night, but the skies cleared up. It was foggy when I got out this morning, and uh, breezy. The uh, winds died down on this hillside, but I imagine up in the top of the trees, it's still getting it. Yeah, I can see some wind up there. Well, I think it's time we get out and get the day started. I do. It's going to be a beautiful day. I hope you all have, a, have an awesome day. I think it's time we go see what God's got. 
You ready? Yep. I think I am. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make it to the top. <laughs> That'll be good. So we'll see what God's got, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. We'll see you then.